All right, this is Andrew Jolly with Joda Home Inspections. Today is December seventh, two thousand twenty-one. We're doing a sewer scope here in Salt Lake. We are at nine fifty-three Atkin Ave. We've got the camera pushed out one hundred and twenty feet to the city connection. Pretty average length of a sewer line. Usually about a hundred feet out about 120 when you go through the roof like I am. I was just trying to clean my camera head off. It fogs up sometimes. Looks better now. So this is cast iron. Um, cast iron is going to be original pipe. Downside with cast iron is it's going to get rough and rusty. It flakes which can allow debris to get caught and lead to backups. Um, you don't want to put anything down the line that you don't need to, like you want to avoid feminine hygiene products or wet wipes, even when it, when it says they're flushable, don't put them down the line because they can get stuck. A little bit of standing water, that could be caused by the buildup or a little bit of a flat spot. Not too bad though, my camera head was staying above that. It is looking pretty rough. Rusty, I would definitely recommend getting the insurance on this line. It's supplemented in Salt Lake, and so it's usually pretty cheap. A lot cheaper than what it would be if the city wasn't helping pay for it. And that's through uh, HomeServe. That can help offset the cost if you have an issue and it needs to be replaced. Trying to see if I don't think that's a root. You don't have a joint there, so just a piece of uh, rust with some waste caught on it. It looked like to me. Pretty average looking cast iron. It's it's rough, but what I would expect for the age. And it looks like it's performing the way that it should be. Uh, I'm not seeing any roots. A little bit of standing water, but not significant enough to cover my camera head. You can also have cast iron coated, which is where they take a chain cutter and it cuts out a small layer. And that makes the line smoother, which helps prevent waste from getting caught. Now we're coming back up the roof stack. So just to recap, it's cast iron all the way out. I didn't see any clay on this one. I didn't see any roots. Um, really the biggest thing is just old cast iron. It's rough, it's rusty. Um, over time, it flakes and gets thinner and thinner. One option you would have on this line is you could probably do a liner on it. So instead of when it's time to replace it, instead of digging it up, they could blow a line in. And since you have proper grade, the liner hardens and it's, it's like having a new pipe inside the old pipe. And that can be a little cheaper than digging it up um, when it's time to replace it. So I'm going to end this recording now.